Hello, I am Supreeta and welcome to my math class. To begin the first lecture on hypergeometric series, let us learn something about the Pochamer symbol that is A N. Okay, so A N is called as the Pochamer symbol. Okay, and this is equal to A into A plus 1, so on up to A plus N minus 1. Okay. And here, n is a positive integer. Yes. So, since n is a positive integer, let me give some values for n. That is, what if n is 0? I would get 1. Okay. So, what if n is 1? I would get a. What if n is 2? I would get a into a plus 1. Now, what if I give a value for a? Suppose a is 3, 2. So, just write this. In the place of a, I have 3. Here, I'd have, I'd have to add 3 with 1. Uh, so, I would get 4, right? So, now what is the value? It is 12. Okay. So, can you recall what was the factorial of n? factorial of n that is n factorial was n into n minus 1 so on up to 3 into 2 into 1. So can you see that this series is decreasing? Yes and our Pochamer series is increasing right. So in special functions the Pochamer symbol is a notation for the rising factorial okay it is also known as rising factorial power okay moving on so yes this series that i've mentioned here this is called as the hypergeometric series okay that is one plus a b divided by c into one into z and so on so if you ask me what is this a b c and z these are complex numbers Okay, A, B, C and Z are complex. Okay, and the denominator that is C, C is not equal to 0, minus 1, minus 2 and so on. That is C is positive. You can also write this or the standard Denotion of the hypergeometric series is 2F1 of A, B, C, Z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity an, bn. So you can see that this is similar to this series, right? divided by cn do compare it with the series mentioned above yes into z power n right here if you ask me what what are these two and one this two represents yes this two represents that there are two parameters in the numerator Okay, there are two parameters in the numerator, right? And this one represents there are or there is only one parameter in the denominator. Okay, so and this z is variable. Yes, this is something about the definition of hypergeometric series where a n is what? The Pochamer symbol a into a plus 1 so on up to a plus n minus 1. Okay, so now let us study something about the convergence of hypergeometric series. 
To find the convergence of hypergeometric series, we use D Alembert's test ratio. Okay. So can you recall what was D Alembert's test ratio or D Alembert's ratio test? Yes. So if you have a series A n, then limit n tending to infinity a n plus 1 divided by a n let that be equal to l where l is a constant okay so you get a value for this right if you apply the limit so if this l is less than 1 then the series is convergent right yes the series converges if l is equal to 1 so if l is greater than 1 the series diverges right so what if l is equal to 1 the test fails right so now let me take the hypergeometric series and apply d alembert's ratio test okay so what was hypergeometric series 2 f 1 of a b c z is equal to if you have a paper and pen with you i would suggest you to take it out and solve this with me yes so yes b a n b n divided by c n n factorial into z power n now let me take c n okay what is Cn? I am taking Cn as An Bn divided by Cn into n factorial into z power n. So for D Alembert's test ratio, you want Cn and Cn plus 1, right? I have taken the series. Now find Cn plus 1. What is Cn plus 1? It is A n plus 1 b n plus 1 divided by c n plus 1 n plus 1 factorial z power n plus 1 so basically you are just replacing n in this to n plus 1 to get this yes what is our next step we divide c n plus 1 with cn right this is how you do d alembert's ratio test yes so i would get n plus 1 b n plus 1 divided by c at n plus 1 into n plus 1 factorial right z n can i write this as z power n into z yes so what would i get here let me write the denominator terms first divided by a at n b at n into or 1 divided by z power n clearly z power n and z power n cancels yes so now what is a n Yes. What is a n? Poor charmer symbol. a into a plus 1. So on up to a plus n minus 1. Right? What is a n plus 1? You get one extra term. That is a a plus 1. So on up to a plus n minus 1 into a plus n right now what if i divide yes what if i divide a n plus 1 with a n what would i get so all these things get cancelled when i divide it right all of this gets cancelled the only term remaining would be a plus n 
right? So let me write a plus n over here. So you see here, I have a plus n in the numerator and a n in the denominator. So can I replace it with a plus n? Yes. So c n plus 1 divided by c n plus 1 divided by c n would be a plus n into b plus n divided by c plus n. So now you have n factorial divided by n plus 1 factorial, right? Let me just write it over here. Yeah, n factorial divided by n plus 1 factorial. So you know that n factorial is, uh, it decreases, right? So if I have n factorial here in the denominator, I would write n plus 1 into n factorial. Yes, n factorial and n factorial gets cancelled. So I would get n plus 1 right so here i would get n plus 1 into z right now let me apply limits limit n tending to infinity c n plus 1 divided by c n is equal to limit n tending to infinity here let me take out n common i would get a divided by n plus 1 b divided by n plus 1 divided by c divided by n plus 1 into 1 plus 1 divided by n into z right now what would you get after applying limits over here you would get mod z, right? So now we can tell that if mod z is less than 1, the series converges. If it is greater than 1, the series diverges. And if it is equal to 1, the test fails, right? So yes, what did we study in today's class? We studied about the Pochamer symbol yes and then we we defined what is hypergeometric series and then we studied about the convergence of hypergeometric series using d alumbert's ratio test yes that's it for today's class thank you